Hello everyone, TMAN978. Right now I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Core Class Vertebrae. TMAN978 Chill Review. Vertebrae is one of the smallest figures you can currently buy right now. And currently cheapest if you want a cheap Transformers Generations figure. They retail for $9.99 in the United States. And this class is replacing Legends class, which replaced Scout class, which replaced Basic class. If we keep going back in time. As you can see, Rat Trap is a tiny bit bigger. And kind of seems more substantial. It's definitely, I think, probably more plastic being used in, in Rat Trap. But Vertebrae is a new Predacon that may or may not be on the Transformers Kingdom show when it actually appears. Here's the face up close. It has red eyes, which is cool. I hear a tail that... It's a female, probably like um, the, the Dinobot Slash that came out during Powers of Power to Prime. But I don't know. I can't confirm that. Anywho, articulation head is on the ball joint. Gets a lot of wiggle and it's on a hinge so the head can, it can look up without, let me, is this transformed all the daggone way? I think it is, but it can look up that much but then it has a hand so I can look up even more which is good for those like lunging poses and whatnot it can't get on the one knee because of the way it's the legs are shaped and it doesn't have double jointed knees but the shoulders are on a ball joint that goes out to that far and can do all that it's one of those robots where the elbow joint is so tight you might Pop the, sh the arm off the shoulder trying to move the elbow joint. No swivel in the wrist. And let's see. No. It has a transformation hinge right here that gives you a little bit of wiggle right there. But can't really use that as butter uh, um, butterfly. And the legs go all the way out to the side and can kick all the way the heck up and all the way back. So, yeah. I showed the knee and the foot is on a ball joint. So, you can get some semblance of ankle pivot. And look at the detail on the legs. And it has this tail sword, which is a pliable material. Unlike Rat Trap and uh, Core Class Optimus, which their peg, their gun peg is typically this right here. Vertebrae seems to have a 5 millimeter peg port. Let's see if that's actually true. Yeah. So vertebrae can hold 5mm guns. And not... Can't hold the gun for a rat trap here. Because the peg is too small. But rat trap can hold vertebrae's sword. Because of the little peg on the bottom. So they were thinking about it. Here's vertebrae next to a shark decon from Titans Return. So, not, still not too far off with the core class. Eh, they could have kept calling them Legends if they wanted to, but technically the Legends class still had more plastic, I think. And here's a Deluxe class Predacon right there. Transformation, much like a G1 Dinobot. Transformation isn't really all that difficult, but pull this back. Go ahead and bring the head back like that while lifting all of this up right here. Bring the head back further. Bring this back and push this panel right here into the grooves right here. And there is a peg there and a peg hole. Let's move ahead. Peg hole here. This thing is so dark for me. All right, now we can press that on there. Take the arms, fold it in here, fold this in there, make sure the hands are 
facing this way with the thumb inward. You kind of, mm, no, once you squeeze these on there, it should stay in place. Basically, after that, you just bring the legs forward like this and plug the tail in how you see fit. Whichever way you want that to be rotated, that's how it is. So now it transforms into this little dinosaur, sort of reminiscent of I don't I don't know what the actual name of the dinosaur is, but I was gonna say reminiscent of a raptor, but it has a totally different head shape and arm placement, so I know it's not a raptor. In this mood, you can see that it's basically scanned a dinosaur fossil. And I'm guessing their little scanning device didn't have the DNA or enough DNA to replicate what it should look like as a full creature. So it just went as a fossil. But the mouth opens up like that. It was a little stiff. What I did was I grabbed down here and then forced it and it got looser. But no neck rotation, no arm movement. You do get full use of the legs, but they look weird and you can rotate the tail around. And I do like the hand placement right there. It definitely gives that more skeletal look with that right there. I thought it would look weird with the hands hanging out, but once I saw that, I was like, wow, that, that really works out because that really gives you the fossil vibe. Here's a comparison with Megatron. A deluxe class car, a deluxe class rat trap, and a core class rat trap. Here we go. Mm. Things a year. Mm. They scale with each other. And I didn't show this off, so this is what that rat trap looks like next to that rat trap. Reverse transformation. Pull the tail off, straighten out the legs. Okay. Now we can pull this out to the side. I would try to do both at the same time, to be honest, because it seemed to be difficult for some reason when I was doing it earlier. Pull this back, rotate this down while pushing the head forward a little bit. Just get this here. Does it tap? Yeah, there's a little hole right here and a tab right there. And try to get it tabbed in decently. There we go. Bring this down and have the head like that. And basically, you're done with the little club sword tail thingy in the hand. And yeah. How do I feel about it? The dinosaur mood is serviceable for the price that it is. It, it's probably it's more fun than Rat Trap in a dinosaur mood. It does more than him. So that's cool. Robot mode is good. Only thing that I wish it had is freaking wrist rotation. Wrist rotation would have been nice. But being able to look up like that while putting the legs like this, like I said, really makes posing the thing a little bit easier. No waist rotation would have been nice. But with the transformation, yeah. And what I didn't show in the transformation back was me shutting this, but you should have enough comf you should have enough common sense to realize you need to do that. But anyhow, it's okay, it's cool, it's good. Um, if you don't care about it, from what you've seen, I wouldn't force you to run out there and get it because it's not a known character. But they're taking a risk. You know that you know what they, they're, they're not taking a risk. They threw this in there for smaller kids. That's exactly what it's out there for. The more unknown characters are fossilizers or characters like this where well, young kids will see, ooh, a dinosaur. I want that dinosaur. I don't have a fossil dinosaur that can change into a robot. That would be cool. And yeah, that, that's what I thought of when I seen the fossilizers. But anyway. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click.
click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.